Hey guys, this is Philip from the Honda Resource. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. So today we've got a 2014 Honda Accord Sport and we're going to be installing new rear brake pads. In this video I'll show you the tools you'll need, the parts you'll need, and I'll provide you the knowledge so that you can do this right at home in your garage. Stay tuned, let's get to the video. But anyways, this is the tools that I'm using on doing this brake job. A flathead screwdriver, a pry bar, and I got a 3 8 impact with a 12 millimeter wobbler socket. And then I have a half inch impact with a 19 millimeter socket. So that's all the tools that I'm using on this job. Pretty easy. So this is our new brake pads. These came from our rallies. And that's the part number. You see it comes with new hardware and then the new brake pads. So on the rear wheel, we got it up on the lift here. If you were doing this in your garage, you may have some jack stands on a jack, but you'll need to get it up off the ground. And then these wheel lugs are 19 millimeter. And then once we get the wheel removed, um, we can get access to the caliper and it shows that we have a 12 here and a 12 here. So I just have my 12 uh, wiggler socket. Both of those. Before we can slide the caliper off, we need to remove this 12 right here. It's on the front side. It holds the emergency brake cable. So just take the 12 off and then it'll let you slide the caliper the rest of the way back to get it off. Alright, I have a little spring here. I'm going to slide this brake pad out. And we can slide this brake pad out. And you can see these aren't like totally spent, but they're they're close. So the customer request to go ahead and replace them because the Honda dealer recommended them. So here we are. All right. So to compress the piston on the caliper, um, you can't just take a C clamp like you can on the front and press it back in. You have to turn these back in. To make a tool that goes on here and it turns it, um, but I just find that a a flathead or a big flathead or in this instance like a pry bar you can use that and just put it in here and turn it and you need to turn it counterclock or I'm sorry you need to turn it clockwise to um, get it back in see how that's working kind of tough when you first start it but once you get it going it it'll move right on along all right so also while we're here we can take a flathead screwdriver and pop these out we have new ones that came with our pads you can reuse these it's not going to hurt anything I just pop both of those out it's got one on top and one on the bottom so you can see how it's got the like a u-shape Make sure that it goes over the rotor. Just presses right down in there. And the same for the top. You just put it over the rotor and press it up in there. All right, so on our pads, you can see how this has a squiller, but you can also see that they're on opposite sides, right? So this one's here and this one's here. So the best, easiest way to determine which one goes on which side is to use your old pad, all right? So you see this one corresponds with this one. So we know that this one goes on the driver's side and the one squiller always goes on the inside towards the center of the car. And then the one for the outside is the same on the left and the right side of the car. So just use one of those
and put it in there like so. And this kit came with new springs. So it was missing the top spring earlier. So we put a new top spring and a new bottom spring. All right, and just for reference, if you look here on the edge of the brake pad, you see the little holes. That's where that spring is going into. So it's going into this pad and it's going to that pad. So, all right, so before we install our caliper, we wanna make sure that our slides are good and lubed up. These both move fairly freely. So if you wanted to grease them up, just hold the, the boot and you can pull the, the pin out and then you can install some caliper grease on this or some regular grease, just something to keep it lubed up. These have plenty of grease on them, so they're good. Once you install the new grease, just push on that pin all the way back in and the boot will clip back on it. So now we're ready to reinstall the caliper. So also while we're installing the caliper, you're gonna want to make sure that these are pushed all the way in. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Like whenever you're installing it, you see how they're trying to hit. If you pull, push them in, it'll clear. So then we put our bolts back in that. And then also we have the 12 millimeter that's on the bottom side that holds the emergency brake cable. So don't forget that. And then we can reinstall this wheel. All right, so when you're installing, when you're tightening down your lug nuts, you always want to go in a crisscross pattern, kind of like a star. So now the driver's side is done and we can move on to the passenger side. All right, so the process for this side is the same as the other side. Remove the wheel. Remove the caliper and the e-brake line. So the next thing you want to do before you start the car on doing any kind of brake work 
on any car. Before you start it, pump the brake several times until you have a good firm brake pedal. Because if you don't do that, it don't push the piston back out on the rear in this case. So if you don't push the piston out, the first time you go to take off, you're going to hit the brake and you're not going to have any pedal because it's going to, all that fluid that where you where you push the brake pedal, it's going to rush to those calipers and push that piston back out. And you're not going to have any brake pedal. So pump it a couple times until you have a good firm brake pedal and then you're good to go. So thank you so much for stopping by to check out my video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. And as always, I'd appreciate it. Subscribe. Hopefully there's going to be some more videos coming on this accord. Uh, I've got to do a few other little things. So I'll be making a little playlist for this body style accord and hopefully I'll be able to help you in more ways than one. So anyways, thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. See you on the next one. Peace.